Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna watch this short exclusive preview of the upcoming Jehovah's Witness movie titled Commit Your Way to Jehovah. My cult senses are tingling already and the heavy demon hit play. Let's watch. If mom and dad were alive, they would be very proud of you. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? You could have more. I'm talking about real security for you and the family. A government carpentry contract. So I'm guessing this is going to be a film about materialism in an African country. <laughs> a bit tone deaf, don't you think? U93.6 as an update to our report from yesterday, militia groups are threatening to take over the capital. Violence has been escalating in the area. As you are aware, the branch has recommended that we meet and discuss the possibility of civil unrest in our area. There will always be rumors surrounding the elections. The safety of the congregation is the concern. There's no need to worry. These are just threats, rumors. There's nothing to it. We received direction from the branch. Those brothers are so far away though. I keep wondering if they have been overly cautious. Remember, Amani, your strength will be in keeping calm and showing trust. Wake up! Wake up! Are you still trusting these people to guide your life? Father Jehovah, please help me. Ooh, so much to talk about here. Yikes. The name of this movie is a bit misleading. It should be called, Commit Your Every Life Decision to the Governing Body. Because that's who Jehovah is, the governing body. <laughs> and I know the brothers serving in the different branches scattered around the world also have some degree of authority, but all power falls down to the governing body anyway. So when witnesses around the world watch this movie, that's who they're going to be thinking about. Also, the last time African JWs followed the branch's direction during times of civil war, a lot of lives were lost. <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I invite you to read about the Mexico-Malawi scandal in Raymond Fran's book, Crisis of Conscience, Chapter 6. It's gonna break your heart. But I'm gonna try to give you a summarized version of the events. Because between 1964 and 1994, all citizens of Malawi were obligated to hold a political card. This political card identified the holders with the ruling party of Malawi. Of course, Watchtower wouldn't allow that arguing that holding a political card was a violation of Bible principles. As a result, hundreds of witnesses in Malawi were brutally persecuted, raped, and murdered. Even Watchtower acknowledged these events, boasting about the members who endured these atrocities and even featuring some of them in their broadcast. The truth is this, that people who call themselves Jehovah's Witness are not Jehovah's Witness at all. They are the devil's witness. Their houses were burned and their maize crops were confiscated because they refused to participate in the country's politics. While all of this was happening in Africa, meanwhile, in Mexico, military service was mandatory for all young men. Once you finished your service, you would receive a cartilla, which was a document that acknowledged that you served. This cartilla was necessary to perform essential things like getting your passport. Young JWs who refused to serve in the military were being persecuted. But Watchtower came up with a brilliant solution. Mexican JWs were to bribe local officials and buy a cartilla, falsely alleging that they had served in the military. Watchtower not only offered this suggestion, but when the Mexico branch wrote back to them, just to make sure that the governing body understood that a, that a bribe was involved, Watchtower still gave them the okay. 
Mexican Jehovah's Witnesses could now avoid military service altogether by bribing officials, while witnesses in Malawi were being brutally murdered for their faith. There's much more to the story than this, but one thing is clear. Watchtower has a horrible track record of dealing advice to the African brothers. And this movie will probably focus a lot on neutrality and complete obedience to the branch. It becomes crystal clear when we hear this line. We come! Are you still trusting these people to guide your life? Are you still trusting these people to guide your life? Wake up. That manipulation, along with all the guns and the Malawi context, this is gonna be an awful piece of propaganda to cover. I'm looking forward to it. As I mentioned in this video, Africa is the future of Watchtower. And I think the governing body is also aware of that. Since Europe and Latin America are jumping chip, Africa is the only continent that experienced any significant growth in the last year. And I think Watchtower will be focusing on them more and more. Don't get me wrong, I love seeing Africa represented in the media, but Watchtower will probably address the topic from an American-centered lens, so what's the point? We also received the preview for the coming regional convention in which this movie will be released. The convention is titled Exercise Patience. Let's see how that turns out. When was the last time you lost your patience? On the road? At work? Or at home? Our busy lives make it difficult for us to be patient. But to enjoy life, we need patience more than ever, even if it's being tested. But what does patience really mean? Does it mean we just passively wait for something to change? And how can patience affect our daily life? The 2023 Exercise Patience Convention of Jehovah's Witnesses will show you what true patience is, why we need it, and how it can improve our relationships with others. God wants you to be happy. And as our Creator, He knows that exercising patience is vital. For more information, go to jw.org. I'm having a lot of trouble understanding where where's the appeal in all of this. <laughs> Remember, this is a video that is supposed to be shown to people, to strangers, in their doorstep. What exactly about this video is gonna catch their attention? What is gonna be the hook that will get them to come into your 8 hour convention? <laughs> At least some past conventions had themes that could be attractive to some people, like imitate Christ or always rejoice. But patience? That's not the most interesting of qualities. And good luck selling it to people whose attention spans have been destroyed by TikTok. This is the urgent message you want people to see in the final part of the last days? What's gonna be the theme for next year, Watchtower? Submission? But hey, for all it's worth, I think Jehovah's Witnesses will need as much patience as they can handle because Armageddon is taking a lot longer than expected. Good luck, Watchtower. You're gonna need it. <laughs>